This episode shows the draft to completion of the shirts. Please stay tuned. The front length is 19 inches and the back length is 17 inches. Add 1 inch seam allowance to half the shoulder measurement for this shirt. Here I used 9 inches for the chest line, then roll a line across the chest line and armhole. Measure 1 inch from the chest line to create the bust span line. The front neckline here measures 2.5 inches by 2.5 inches. The back neckline measures 2.5 inches by 1 inch. Slope the shoulders. Mark quarter of the bust and waist circumferences. On the center back line, come in by 1 inch. From this line, mark quarter of the circumferences. Connect the side lines. The armhole curves. Mark the dart line 4 inches down. Take the difference of 2 inches between the half lengths. Connect to the bust point. Cut through the demarcating line. The darts. Close the bust darts. Align the side. Continue cutting the front and the back block respectively. The sides match up once the burst dart is closed. The sleeve's length is 11 inches with a cap's height of 4 inches and an upper arm circumference of 9 inches. Draw a line from the sleeve's cap to the side as shown. Mark the center of the line. Connect the lines creating the S curve. The sleeve's hem measures 7.5 inch Connect the side and cut out. Here is the pattern set. Transfer the pattern to fabric, adding 0.5 inch along the center back, neckline, shoulder and armhole. 2 inches at the hem, 2 inches at the side. For the front, 2 inches seam allowance at the bust, 1 inch at the waist. 2 inches at the hem, 0.5 inch at the center front and other areas. The sleeve has 2 inches at the hem, 1.5 inch seam allowance at the side and 0.5 inch at the top. The pocket measures 11.5 inch by 10 inches and the cover measures 7.5 by 7.5 inches. The placket is 20 inches by 3.5 and 20 inches by 4.5 inches. A quick demo on how the placket will be attached to the center front. Cut a facing fabric for the front, measuring 7.5 inches in length. Go ahead to cut it for the back. Place the fabric on fold. Fold in the center back seam allowance and cut out the facing as shown. Turn the front neckline with the facing first by 0.5 inch seam allowance. Notch along the curve. Top stitch the seam allowance on the facing fabric. Flip back in position. Fold the hem by 0.5 inch and top stitch. Next to the back. Join the center back by 0.5 inch. The neckline is turned Flip to the wrong side, fold the hem and top stitch. Place the back on the front piece, right sides together and join the shoulder. Cover the shoulder seam with the front facing. Sew along by 0.5 inch. Turn it out in position. See the right and wrong side. Then join the other shoulder in the same way. Align the notched center of the sleeve with the shoulder seam. Sew from the shoulder tip to one side of the armhole. Reverse and sew to the other side of the armhole. Repeat the same process to attach the second sleeve. Fold the hem of the sleeve by 2 inches. Next, fold the front body's hem as well as the other side. Bring in the plackets. Place right side of the placket fabric on the wrong side of the shirt. Sew along the center front by 0.5 inch. Fold the edge of the placket by 0.5 inch. Fold again to cover the seams. Trim excess fabric at both ends, leaving 0.75 inch seam allowance. 
then go ahead to iron the folds neatly fold the plaquettes to the wrong side with right sides together sew across the top using the remaining seam allowance trim the excess fabric turn the plaquette to the right side poke out the corners neatly cover the seam line and sew close to the edge as you reach the hem fold the plaquette to the wrong side again and sew the bottom closed turn back to the right side and complete top stitching all the way down repeat same in attaching the other plaquettes measure from the shoulder tip 7 inches and draw a line come in with the pockets this time fold the fabric wrong sides together go in from the fold by 1.75 inches sew a straight line open flats press down the center fold top stitch the top and bottom in place fold the top by one inch and sew the pocket cover on the seven inches line mark it will be sewn down here place the pocket one inch away from the placket fold the edges by 0.25 inch I vote at the corner and continue stitching the shorter side turn and sew the remaining longer side finish with a back stitch now sew down the pocket cover repeat same process in attaching the other pockets assemble the center front the bottom placket is smaller in width measure six inches down from the neck depth top stitch along the edge of the placket stopping at the six inches mark i vote at the corner and stitch across then sew a blending line from the stitch at the hem across the placket finally sew the side seams with a one inch seam allowance starting from the sleeves hem all the way to the shirt hem repeat the same on the other side and this project is complete if this tutorial was helpful please drop a comment like share and subscribe don't forget to turn on your notification bell for more videos bye